Hi everyone, my name is Mohamed Sadat Abdullahi. I am the Community Communications Manager for Wikidata. I'm from Ghana and I'm based in Berlin. Hi Mohamed, so do you remember the first time you edited Wikidata and what got you into it? Oh yes, that must have been around 2013. Yeah, I can recall that period quite vividly because Wikidata at that time was, I mean, at least for me, was this new Wikimedia project that only a few people understood and enjoyed editing. And I remember thinking to myself, what is this strange thing? And why do we even need a new Wikimedia project for? Of course, I did some reading around it and it, <laughs> it all sounded very interesting. But practically, it didn't make plenty of sense to me. And so after, you know, just exploring and creating a user page, I never really came back to edit until about a year later. And what finally brought it home for me was the problem of interlanguage links in Wikipedia. So for some context, in the past, I'd often been frustrated as a Wikipedia editor, you know, having to, to manually connect Wikipedia pages about the same concept for each of the different language versions. And I remember, you know, spending a lot of time just um, in the wiki text for these articles that I cared about, just trying to, to add these interlanguage links manually. And so it made so much sense that Wikidata introduced this central repository to store these inter wiki links. And so reading about, you know, that side of the project was when Wikidata's relevance really starts to hit me. So yeah, site links were the first steps that drew me in. And when I started adding them, you know, connecting Wikipedia articles in different languages on Wikidata, my understanding of the other parts of a Wikidata item organically grew from there. I did vandalize a few items when I started editing statements and in the term box. Don't go looking at my revision history, please. But yeah, I believe most, um, a lot of, you know, seasoned editors today started out as, as vandals as well. Thank you. So um, could you tell us um, a little bit what Wikidata is? Wikidata is a sister project of Wikipedia and it's a free knowledge base that is based on facts and references that both machines and humans can edit and reuse. Wikidata is linked to other resources via IDs which we call external identifiers. Those resources could also be linked to other databases and even interlinking back to Wikidata. And when all of these resources are open access as Wikidata is, then we call that data network linked open data. Wikidata is part of the Wikimedia projects. And like all of its sister projects, Wikidata is multilingual and it has no language barriers. The data in Wikidata is released under CC0 license, meaning Wikidata's data is in the public domain and has no exclusive intellectual property rights applied to it. Wikidata items are made up of statements and references. And I'm sure we are going to be talking more about statements and references in the later sessions. Finally, Wikidata is made for humans and machines and is available for everyone to use whether on the Wikimedia project or outside of it. All right, and so what is so cool about Wikidata and why is Wikidata so useful? Wikidata is so cool for many reasons. Example, Wikidata has information on concepts about everything that you can think of, from your favorite um, superhero to the tallest mountains, even down to the street names in your neighborhood. Currently, there are over 108 million concepts that Wikidata knows about, and it offers this information as structured data 
in hundreds of languages and interconnects with over 11,000 external resources to form a linked open data on the web. And that's not all. All this information is released under the public domain. That means that there are absolutely zero copyright restrictions attached to the data on Wikidata. Amazing. Can you show us a few examples on how Wikidata can be reused? Absolutely. I'm happy to show you a few examples of the reuse of Wikidata's data. First, um, it's a game called Gesa. And you can find it by going to gesa.blinary.org. And um, this game tests our knowledge of geography by guessing the locations of random Wikidata items that has a geolocation statement on the item. So this image coming from Wikimedia Commons, the game is asking me to guess the location of the image and it provides me with a map and I can go ahead and make a guess. Um, <laughs> not entirely sure where this is, but I would make a random guess here just so you see you have a feel of how it um, how it works if I make a guess and it says oh you are 1724 kilometers off <laughs> all right okay so the next example of reuse of Wikidata's data I would like to show you is Crotus um, Crotus is a search and display engine for visual artworks powered by Wikidata and Wikimedia Commons. So you can use Crotus to search for and display artworks by Louis Moriri, for example, if they do exist on Wikidata and on Wikimedia Commons. When we searched for artworks by Louis Moriri, we did find a few that exist on Wikidata. And I can go ahead and click on them and take a closer look. My last example is the case of, um, of the reuse of Wikidata's data to create info boxes on Wikipedia. So here is an example of an info box on the Bani Wikipedia that is entirely created from Wikidata's data. All right. So let's have a look at Wikidata now. Can you explain to us a little bit how the information is organized on Wikidata? First, concepts on Wikidata are contained on pages called items. This is an example of an item with an item label Haruna Idrisu, with an item identifier K162154, which is unique to it. On each item, you'll notice what we call the term box. And the term box is this box that contains the language, label, description, and the aliases, also known as. The labels are in different languages and they exist for each item. The descriptions are used to describe what the item is about in the simplest form. So in this case, Haruna Idrisu is described as a Ghanaian politician. The aliases um, are other labels that this individual or this concept could be known um, could be known as. So for example, Haruna Idrisu could also be known as um, Gangdu or Loya Aduna in Dagbani. Now underneath the term box are the statements. So there are a lot of statements on this item. On Wikidata, things are modeled based on triples. 
the three different parts of a triple make up a statement. Here we have an item identifier which has this QID Q162115. There's a property instance of and a value which is human. So as you can see, each statement at an item page links to a property and assigns it a value. A triple can be read like a sentence in plain English as a statement containing subjects, predicates, and objects. So in this example, Haruna Idrisu is an instance of a human. Another statement could be, for example, um, the position that they held. Here we can see that they are a member of the seventh parliament of the fourth republic of Ghana. So that is another statement on its own. Now, aside from the, the basic triple model, we can also add extra details to contextualize Wikidata statements. And we can do so by adding qualifiers and references. Qualifiers, they allow statements to be expanded on and annotated beyond what can be expressed. Example, for the statement, Haruna Idrisu, position held, member of the 7th Parliament of the 4th Republic of Ghana. We can add a simple property value pair, parliamentary group, which is a property on its own, as you would notice. And then the value for that property would be the NDC, the National Democratic Congress. This allows us to add a bit more context to what party they actually were an MP of. Then we may also add references or as many references as we want to point to specific sources that back up the data provided in the statement that they were, yes, indeed, once a member of the Southern Parliament of the Fourth Republic of Ghana in the parliamentary group, the NDC. If I click on that reference, I will see that it has a reference URL which points us to the website that tells us that they were indeed held this position. And then we also have another property retrieved that tells us when we retrieved this information from that website. So always remember that Wikidata statements should be supported by a verifiable source of information. If you can indeed provide that as references for your, straight, uh, for your statement, that would be great. Beneath the regular statements are external identifiers. So these are external systems such as databases or authority control files that also have information about this person Haruna Idrisu. There's an open sanctions ID, there's a pre-book ID, and also a free base ID. And I can, I can click on any of these, and those should take me to those other resources that have information about Haruna Idrisu, the person. In Wikidata, the instance of property represented by the property ID P31 is one of the fundamental properties that plays a crucial role in organizing and categorizing information. So for example, this item, Haruna Idrisu, is a specific example of a definition of a human. Therefore, the property instance of P31 serves as the backbone for linking and categorizing all such items of people as humans. Other fundamental Wikidata properties exist, such as subclass of, with the property ID P279, part of, with the property ID P361, and has part, with the property ID P527. We'll be discussing more of these in the later session.
could you show us again this very first uh, statement, instance of? What exactly does it mean? It seems important. In Wikidata, the instance of property represented by the property ID P31 is one of the fundamental properties that plays a crucial role in organizing and categorizing information. So for example, this item, Haruna Idrisu, is a specific example of a definition of a human. Therefore, the property instance of P31 serves as the backbone for linking and categorizing all such items of people as humans. Other fundamental Wikidata properties exist, such as subclass of, with the property ID P279, part of, with the property ID P361, and has part, with the property ID P527. All right. So now I see all of this information in English, but what if I want to see it in another language? Can I do it? You can see this data in another language by clicking the language selector next to your username. So if I click on it, I would be able to see the content of this item in French, for example. And then you would notice that the interface changes as well. And I can switch back to English if I want to. Cool. So I would love to start editing Wikidata now. Is there a place where I can go to do some test edits without breaking anything? A great way to practice editing Wikidata and not break anything, or at least annoy other editors, is to use the Wikidata sandbox. The sandbox itself is an item where you can go and add statements of all kinds, even if those statements don't really make any sense. So let's take a look. This is the Wikidata sandbox and you would indeed notice that it resembles any typical Wikidata item with labels and descriptions and statements, except that these don't really make sense because of course they are used for testing. Um, you can edit a statement for example Instead of saying this is an instance of a human, you could say this is an instance of a river body or a river. And then I click on publish. And I can edit these other statements and add references to them even. I could even add a new statement from scratch. And I can do that by scrolling to the very end of the existing statement. You would, you, you would find add statement if I click on it. It gives me a chance to enter a property and then later on a value. So let's say I wanted to add um, the sex or gender if this item were about a human. So I would start typing sex or gender and if I'm lucky the suggester um, gives me some options and I can see sex and gender. Once I click on it, I would be able to include the agenda. Once I include the value for that property, sex or gender, I would click on publish and then it gets saved. Those little information signs you saw are called constraints. Let's see if we can find a constraint violation on this page. So this is an example of an information sign and they provide guidelines for editors to ensure data quality and consistency when modeling Wikidata items. So clicking on it reveals, you know, details I mean, advice and hints about the constraints applied to that property and how you can go about fixing them. All right. Sounds good. So the sandbox is the right place to go to keep 
uh, practicing a little bit and editing and seeing what's uh, what's happening. Um, tell me, can I also edit Wikidata on mobile? Yes, you can edit Wikidata on mobile, although the mobile interface is currently not perfect. At the moment, you can edit the term box and you can also add site links. But you cannot edit statements for now. However, the way you could do that, if you are on mobile, as I am on currently, you would have to scroll down to the very end of the item and then request the desktop site for the item by clicking on desktop. Once you do that, you can switch to landscape mode so you can get a good view of the items and the click button. All right. So it seems that when I'm editing Wikidata and I click on publish, my edits are directly added to the website. Um, is that right? And or is there anyone checking my edits before they get published? Yes, your edit is immediately visible when you click on publish. Wikidata relies on a collaborative effort. So there is no there is no central authority that checks every edit. Instead, the community collectively monitors changes. So if someone notices an error or inconsistency in the data on Wikidata, they can correct it themselves or discuss it on the relevant items talk page. And you can always find the talk page on Wikidata. They are called discussion pages. So if I click on the discussion page, I would be able to see relevant discussions related to this item. Each statement, such as a claim about an item in Wikidata, can have references or sources attached to it. Let's take an example. Um, Haruna Idrisu, there's a statement on that item, educated at Ghana School of Law. And then you can find a reference that has a reference URL that confirms that they actually were educated at the Ghana School of Law. And these references provide information about where the data is coming from. So look for the references section always on an item to find the sources for each claim you are looking at. Cool. So what if I want to create a new Wikidata item about the punk garage band that I just created? Well, we can add your punk garage band only if the band is notable. And what do we mean by that? It has to satisfy at least two of these three requirements on notability. One, it contains a site link. Two, it has publicly available references. And three, an item for the band needs to fulfill a structural need in order to make another item better. Then, it can be added to Wikidata. If you want to learn more about notability, check out this Wikidata page about notability on Wikidata. Then you can read about what it means um, to contain a site link and what it means to have um, publicly available references or what it means for an item to fulfill a structural need. Um, so I would love to know a little bit more about who is editing Wikidata? Like who are all of these people adding information on Wikidata? Who is editing Wikidata? These editors come from all over the world to build and maintain Wikidata in more than 200 languages. These cool individuals are mostly volunteers. Sometimes they work together on wiki projects around specific topics like books or um, bridges or hotels and so on. At the moment, a majority of them come from the global north and would really like to see more participation coming from other parts of the world. All right. And uh, how can I get in touch with them? For example, if I have a question or if I'm not sure what to do on Wikidata? 
Wikidata editors tend to be very friendly and you are, <laughs> they are very willing to help you with your modeling challenges. All you have to do is to reach out to them on talk pages or at you know, various other locations. Of course, depending on what you want to discuss and what medium feels comfortable for you. So here are some of the ways in which you can get in touch with Wikidata editors. If you go on this page, Wikidata main page slash contact, you would find links to the Wikidata mailing list. Um, you would find links to the project chats. You would find links to social media spaces like, you know, Mastodon and Facebook. And of course, on Telegram. And you can leave a message in any of these places. I can promise you that people are going to respond to you if um, you have a question that you need some help with. And of course, you can stay in touch with all that is happening around Wikidata via the Wikidata newsletter, the Wikidata weekly summaries. So the weekly summaries are weekly updates that the development team sends out to the community that sort of gives a general overview of what has been happening in the community in terms of development and in terms of social activities and in terms of all that is happening around Wikidata. So I would encourage you to subscribe to the newsletter. You can subscribe via the mailing list. You can also subscribe to get um, the newsletter delivered to you on your talk page and you can even browse all of the past newsletters that have gone out over the years. Thank you so much. And here comes my final question. Uh, what would you say to someone who's new to Wikidata and would love to start editing? What could you advise to them? Okay, so I will tell them to be bold and to dive right in. Of course, they shouldn't be reckless, else they can get blocked. But they shouldn't also wait to have to read all of, that, all of the documentation around Wikidata before they start editing. Once they start to get their hands dirty, it, I believe it will all start to come together very nicely. Also, they should not be afraid to ask for help. They can even come over and talk to us on the Wikidata Help channel. Awesome! Thank you, Mohamed. Thank you.